I had a student ask me which of the following 0.1 molar solutions have the lowest freezing points. Now, we're going to assume that these are solutions of water. Normally, even the water freezes at zero Celsius, but the freezing point can get lowered by something called freezing point depression, which is based off of the cryoscopic constant. That's a constant for water. Molality, which is uh, proportional to molarity, as long as you're all dealing at the same temperature. And I, which is something called the Van Hoff factor. Now, the cryoscopic constant for all of these solutions is the same because they're all in water. And the molalities are all the same at zero Celsius because the molarities are the same. That is not necessarily true if you're not just intercomparing them. And molality is not the same as molarity. Just throwing it out there. The thing that actually differs between all these solutions is the Van Hoff factor. That is how many particles are actually formed when you dissolve each of these into water. Now, glucose is a molecular compound. When it dissolves in water, it stays whole. So that means it has an I equals one. It's only one particle when it dissolves in water. Urea is also a molecular compound. It also has a Van Hoff factor of one. NaCl is ionic though. What happens when you dissolve an ionic compound in water? Well, it breaks up into its constituent ions. This makes an Na plus and a Cl minus. How many particles was that? Well, that was two particles, two different ions. Therefore, I equals two. The Van Hoff factor is two. So a 0.1 molar solution of NaCl will have a lower freezing point than a 0.1 molar, solu molar solution of either urea or glucose. But take a look at K2SO4. When you break this one up in water, you get two K plus ions and separately a sulfate anion. That is three ions. And so this one has the highest Van Hoff factor, therefore the highest freezing point depression. And therefore the freezing point of that solution is lower than all of the rest. Beautiful thing. I love Van Hoff factor questions and best of luck to you.